All right, guys, I've just got back off my holidays and I've been in the fish room and I've been doing some water changes and I got to thinking about the Briodorite tank that actually it's just not working out. They're very nervous in there. So I wanted to make some changes and making those changes and I thought I'd just film it as I go along. Literally just decided it and it's off the cuff, guys. So we're going to do a Briodorite Bria Dorai update and we're going to move them about so let's do it okay so this is the tank that the Bria Dora are in and the carpenters now i set it up around about two months ago and they've the only fish that i've had in this tank and the, it's just not working out now don't get me wrong it's low down so it's very low down to the floor and it's next to the main door a lot of traffic with feet and stuff i'm not sure but they're very very skittish in this tank so the carpenters, if you can see, let me get closer for you. He's in that pot, never ever comes out of that pot. It's crazy, it never comes out of that pot. And as you can see from this shot, you cannot see any of the Briodori. They are very skittish. Now I feed, when I feed, they come out, but they, they are skittish when they're feeding as well. So this is just not working out. I've, I've, I've been thinking about what things it could have been now. I changed the heater in case the heater was giving any sort of like shocks off in the water. You never know. So I've changed the heater. So it's had a new heater on it for now for probably three weeks. Still no change. I've changed the scape up. I have had minimal scape. I have now, I have had this in for probably three weeks where there's loads and loads of hiding places, which obviously they're taking advantage of now, but it's not working. So what I've decided to do, because I want the best for this fish, because this is a very special fish, and it's something that I'm trying to work on, I'm trying to get a pair from. Um, I've got four of them, plus obviously the carpenters in there. Now, I what I'm thinking of doing is this. So, this is the, sorry for the glare, like I said before, it's so midday, it's quite sunny in this room, but... This is the two foot by two foot cube. Now, this is a bit of an overflow tank at the moment. And I am going to get rid of a lot of the stock in here. So I'm going to move some of this stock on. So what I'm thinking of, it's high up. It's away from the door, the main entrance and stuff. So I might set this, well, not might. I am going to change the Briodoris into this tank. Move the, some of these into the tank the Briodori are in. And then move on the fish that I don't want anymore in this tank. Now, the fish that I'm moving on is one Multifasciatus, two Robert Sonai, one pink fenestratus, one common fenestratus, and three Mayonnaise. They're all going to be moved on, which will then leave me with one pink, one not normal fenestratus, which I'll put back into the Viager tank, and the, 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 the two Neatropolis, which I can put them in, in any tank. They, they can go anywhere. They're only small. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it all over, and I'm going to let you know how it went. So, like I said, that's the, the Briodori tank now. You just cannot see anything. They are so skittish. Like the, I've wormed them. I've done all the things that I've done. I should do to make sure they're okay. They're eating. So I just, I just putting it now down to where the tank is, and they're just not coping with it. So what I'm going to do is make the changes, and I'm going to report back to you to let you know how it went. Okay, so this is literally the same day, and I just had to do it, and I just thought, do you know what? They're so much more confident in this tank. So I've not moved the carpenters over. I've only moved the four Briodori. I've just fed them. They've eaten. And absolutely, I honestly cannot say just how different they're being. They're not skittish. They're very confident. They're coming out. And, you know, and like I said on, in the intro, this is just a video that I just did off the cuff because I wanted to share it and do a different kind of update on one of my species. And these Briodori, these via Bri Viea Briodori Rio Salado are absolutely phenomenal, honestly. Now, I'm not sure what the situation is from a sexing point of view. I think I had a pair, but I did lose two when I moved. So I'm not sure whether I lost one of the females. Maybe, I don't know. But I'm not too bothered at the moment. I'm just enjoying growing them out. I've just spent the last two months and I've hardly even seen them. And now I've moved them into A and I'm seeing more of them. They have absolutely changed, grown so much. That one's not grown so much, but... You find that, don't you? And absolutely, oh my God, what a change. And like I said, this is literally the same day. They're unbelievably different. And that just shows you, doesn't it? Changing, just changing a situation up. 
something was happening in that tank, wasn't it? Something, you know, and I, and I don't think it was the carpenters because the carpenters was even more skittish than them. But it could have been where it was placed. But anyway, we've moved him and they're all fine now. So, yeah, like I said, I just thought I'd do a different kind of update. I'll just show you the other tank there down there with the carpenters and the other fish that I moved from this tank. And I've, there's nothing in there for the car carpenters to hide carpenters to hide in and it seems fine so maybe i don't know who knows it's a sometimes it's a little bit strange this hobby isn't it it keeps us on our toes but yeah i think that um i am so made up to have these back in a place where they're a lot more confident and showing themselves off and yes yeah, so like i said i just thought i'd do that a quick video come on and, and do something a bit different a bit off the cuff i like to do the off the cuff videos now and again and we'll do a proper update on these at a later date. So, yeah, we'll wrap this one up. We'll wrap this one up now. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, it's just an off-the-cuff video. Something a, bit, a little bit different. And it's worked out, and I can't believe that. I thought I was going to have to probably go another couple of days and add that footage, but change was the change was within the space of an hour, probably, and they're out and they're back to their best. So that's great news. But anyway, guys, I want to say a massive thank you as always for watching the video for subscribing to the channel and for liking and commenting all those things i appreciate it so much obviously if you're not subscribed and you watch my videos please consider subscribing it's obviously up to you and it's your choice but it is free of charge and it is just a click of the subscribe button and a ping of the bell for notifications i'm going to leave it there and i will see you all on the next one